I've been involved in the field of personal fabrication for five years now, and I've seen what an amazing impact that these tools can have, but I've also realized that these tools are just a fraction of what's possible. When we were at the Media Lab at MIT, we had access to an amazing set of tools, 3D printing being one of the most important. For designers and engineers like us, there was simply no solution if you want a high-resolution 3D printer at low cost on your desk. So we decided to build it ourselves. I really cannot imagine where my research would be without 3D printers. I would really like to have a 3D printer at my desk. We don't currently have any of the existing low-cost machines because the part quality, resolution, and repeatability is nowhere where we need it to be. In architecture and many design fields, the software tools have advanced pretty significantly, but there's been a gap between what you can actually design and what you can actually make. And I think the Formlabs printer provides an exciting opportunity to be able to design and then physically make quickly precise, complex geometry. Formlabs changes the way people design things. They're going to be able to get really pro-quality 3D printed parts way cheaper, way faster than they've ever been able to do that before. Formlabs takes us a giant step closer to the engineer's dream, which is routine 3D printing, the way they'd, they'd print on paper. To design a 3D printer that produces great parts every time, you've got to bring together a team of designers, engineers, and material scientists to make a tightly integrated product. If you can do that, you can fundamentally change 3D printing, and I think we've done exactly that. Stereolithography is great. It's a tried and true process. It's been around for well over 25 years produces the best quality parts in the industry. The way it works is pretty simple. A laser beam is drawn across the surface of a liquid plastic resin that hardens when exposed to a specific wavelength of light. After the layer is drawn, the build platform lifts and the process is repeated layer by layer until the part is finished. We have a great user experience. We have powerful and easy to use software We've built a reliable and beautifully designed printer, and we're developing materials which will enable our users to make amazing things. We've been working on the design of our product for over a year, and it's nearly complete. And so now it's time to start gearing up manufacturing so that we can get it into the hands of users everywhere. But to do that requires substantial resources. The bottom line, designers are going to be able to make a lot more 3D printed parts. And I don't mean a few designers, I mean a few hundred thousand designers, a million designers, are going to have access to 3D printing in a way they didn't before Formlabs. Imagine you have an incredible concept, and what we want to do is give you a great tool to make it real. What if you could draw things exactly as you imagine them? What if you could lift your pen off the paper and create real objects? The Three Doodler is the world's first and only 3D drawing pen. It's been designed to be compact and easy to use. No software, no computers. You just plug it in and can start drawing anything within minutes. The beauty of Three Doodler is how simple it is. Everyone knows how to use a pen, so we designed a 3D printing pen. If you can scribble, trace, or wave a finger in the air, you can use a 3 doodler to create simple or complex objects. And we're making 3D creation accessible to everyone. A 3 doodler is the most affordable way to 3D print. So how does it work? 3 doodler uses cutting edge patent pending technology to heat and cool plastic as it passes through the body of the pen. Just like a 3D printer, the plastic cools rapidly and becomes hard. The possibilities are endless, including 3D models, jewelry, decorative art, toys, fridge magnets, or a scale model of the Eiffel Tower. It can even be used for basic repairs. 
3 Doodler represents a whole new medium for artists, makers, 3D enthusiasts. In fact, anyone wanting to express their creative side. Hi, I'm Max. And I'm Pete. And we're Wobbleworks. Pete and I met years ago in Hong Kong when I was working for a toy company. And Pete was an independent inventor from MIT. I brought to market such products as Rovio and RS Media. And at MIT, I worked on a number of fun projects, including a walking dinosaur robot and a transforming motorcycle called Uno. 3Doodler is the result of a year's worth of R&D, and after a number of prototypes, we feel like we're finally ready to take it to the next level. Pete and I have already been to China, and we're working with a factory that's capable of producing thousands of 3Doodlers. All we need is your support to make this a reality. First time people see a 3D printer in motion, it, it's, it's captivating. People are mesmerized by it, and everybody wants to get involved. 3D printer is kind of like magic. One minute you have this box on your desk, and the next minute you see an object appearing out of thin air. At M3D, we knew at some point in the future, these tools would be a part of everyone's lives. Um, so we asked, why not now? But there hasn't been a truly affordable consumer printer that's easy to use. You just plug it in, hit print, uh, until now. And that's why we made the Micro 3D printer. We started with a seamless design and we looked at all the existing 3D printers and we took everything that we liked and redesigned everything else. We knew that in order for them to really live up to their potential, that they had to be affordable and completely effortless to use. And several months uh, later, we'd, we'd done it. In addition to reducing the size and the weight of the box, we also reduced the power consumption by about a factor of 10 compared to professional 3D printers. By making it more power efficient, you basically reduce your costs of every component. It becomes lighter, the electronics become more affordable, everything drops. We use auto leveling and auto calibration so that you're never messing with the printer. We decided we had to provide software that just makes it really easy. So we have a library of existing parts and select what you want, just hit print. People can use other sources for their filaments or they can use ours and it goes both ways. Other people with different printers can buy our filaments as well. The Micro 3D printer is for everyone. We designed it to be perfect for beginner users but also for expert users. Of course they're already very useful today. You can use it for things like replacing a shower hook or building real prototypes or even functional parts, uh, replacements for things around your house for example. And that's just scratching the surface of what 3D printers are capable of. We want you know, a printer in every single house, but in order to get there, we're going to need the Kickstarter funds to make the molds. A lot of people are going to get a printer as their reward, but what they're really doing is they're, they're helping us get started and, and they're creating a new brand with us. We need a 3D printer like the Micro, something that's ultra affordable, to get lots of printers out there so people can nurture the technology and figure out where it's going to go. We knew it was coming. You know, somebody was going to do it. The question was who and how. A project like this started out with one or two people and I'm just floored by the amount of support we've gotten, so we have a lot of people to thank. We really strive to be innovative in everything that we do and I think people already see that. We're really looking to, to raise hell in the industry. Hi, we're the team behind Tico. As inventors, we constantly use 3D printers to create and test our ideas. But every 3D printer we used fell short of our expectations. They were heavy, overcomplicated, and unreliable. We often spent more time calibrating our printers than printing our inventions. So we came up with a simple solution, Unibody. This is Tico, the Unibody 3D printer. Most 3D printer frames are built using separate rails. Unibody means the rails are built into the chassis, creating one solid piece. One solid piece, unibody. And with this simple shift in design, all the problems that came from separate rail systems disappeared. More reliable and accurate, 
Tico sets a new standard for 3D printers. And it doesn't stop at unibody. Tico has an internal filament tray, an enclosed build chamber, auto safety shutoff, a large print volume, a flexible base, wireless connectivity, and cloud-based software so you can print from almost anywhere on any internet-friendly device. With Tico, we've not only set a new standard for design, but for price too. Tico is only $179. Yup, one, seven, nine. That's the beauty of unibody design. It's better and it costs less to manufacture. We could set the price higher, but we want everyone to have a Tico. This is where we need your help. We use 3D printing to create Tico. Imagine all the ideas that could become realities. Imagine what you could build. Back us today and let's find out.